Hello and welcome back to the Smart Process YouTube channel. Today we're going to be walking through how to read the Eastron SDM 72 CTM power meter or multifunction meter. We're going to be going through each display. So we're going to go through the whole display, show you how to uh, press the button and how to read each one. So we've got the meter powered up using the live and neutral um, L1 and the neutral terminal. Just going to run through now how to read the meter. So the first screen we've got is total kilowatt hours. Then we're going to press the circle button to go through the screens. We've got input kilowatt hours, export kilowatt hours, total KVA RH, import and export KVA RH. Then we've got um, L1 volts, L2 volts, or 3 volts. L1 amps, L2 amps, L3 amps. We've got total watts, L1 watts, L2 watts, L3 watts. Then we've got total VAR, L1, L2, and L3 VAR. Then we've got total VA, and all the phases again, 1, 2, and 3. We've got total power factor, L1 power factor, L2 power factor, L3 power factor. We've got hertz. We've got the CT rate which we set in the previous video. Uh, we'll put a link up here in the screen on how to set the CT rate of this meter. And then we've got the pulse rate. So this is um, one pulse per 0 0.01 kilowatt hours. If it was, um, uh, put, if this number was one, then it would be one pulse per one kilowatt hour. But it's set to 0 0.01. So this is 0 0.01 kilowatt hours. And it'll pulse once for that reading. And then we've got Modbus address. Board rate, 9.6 uh, thousand. Parity, none. And then we're back to the total kilowatt hour screen. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and we'll be sure to reply to your questions. Please like and subscribe for more content like this and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.